Welcome to Real Estate Genius. I am Terry. I am not the real estate genius, but this is the show where we make you, yes, you, yes, you, a real estate genius about the local Indianapolis real estate, housing, market, all that good stuff. And how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I hope your mood is elevated. I hope your serotonin levels are high. I hope your uh, I don't know. I was just trying to say, I hope you're in a good mood. I hope you're having a great day. And I tried to get technical, and that is not what I should ever, ever do. Welcome to Real Estate Genius, you guys. Part of the reason, I think, for maybe a little mood elevation is that it might be... Oh, no, I messed up. Oh, I had a little slide. There it is. Is that maybe the temperature, the thermometer might be rising. Might be rising here in central Indiana. Uh, I know today's a little colder if you're watching this on Thursday. If you're watching live, a little bit colder today, but it's been a warm week. I think it's going to warm up again going into the weekend. Is this the spring weather that's here to stay, or is it the March head fake? The March head fake that gets us jumping in the air to block the shot, i.e. to get excited about the warmer weather. And then guess what? It was a head fake and it's going to be freezing for four more weeks. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know, but all I know is in Indiana, if you get a day that's 60, 65, 70, you got to be thankful. You got to take advantage and just enjoy it for what it is. It's a great day today, right? Doesn't mean spring is here. Doesn't mean spring's not here. I don't know what it means, but the point is let's enjoy the warm weather while we have it. You know what I'm saying? Let's dive into the local Indianapolis housing stats. First of all, home sales down 0.8% compared to a year ago. That's not a big surprise. It's a tough market right now. There's going to be more coming up in the coming weeks for sure, uh, but basically about a wash from last year to this year in overall home sales made. We still expect this year to be very similar overall to last year. Median sale price, $250,000. That's up 13% compared to a year ago. We know over the course of the last year that homes went up between 15 to 18 percent. Will they level off this year or will they climb? I think they're going to go up anywhere from 8 to 10 percent. Here's what we know. Let me just give you a little background info. You put this in your noggin, you bust it out at an upcoming family dinner, you'll be the talk of the town. Here's what we know. Inflation is always outpaced slightly by home value increases. So, this year, inflation is supposed to be 8 or 9%, which means that home values should also climb that 8 or 9%. Yes, on top of what already happened last year with the 15 to 18%. So uh, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. But we'll talk more at the end about all that. Inventory down 9.9% compared to a year ago. If you're in the market, you know that that is the story. Homes are selling really fast. They're selling really high, and it's low inventory. If you're a buyer, you might be having a lot of trouble finding the kind of home that you're looking for. And then if you do find it, multiple offers, you got to compete and come strong with an offer. Average days on market is five. That's still extremely low. That's still a crazy number, but it is what it is. No change compared to a year ago. So uh, pretty, uh, the numbers are bearing out what we're seeing anecdotally in the market. I will say if you are thinking of making a move and you think you're going to wait until later in the year or even a couple of years down the road and think that things will calm down, that prices will level off, uh, that maybe the market won't be so crazy, I hate to tell you, but barring some kind of big, crazy, catastrophic event that there's no way we can see coming, that's probably not going to happen. The basics of supply and demand are still the same. Our inventory is so low. Buyer demand is bigger than it ever has been, which means it's going to stay that way, which means home prices are not coming down anytime soon. I don't even think they're going to level off this year. I think they'll continue to climb. So that's going to be happening, which is good if you're a seller. Buyer, it's going to continue to be tough for you. You've got to fight. You've got to come with strong offers, but it is doable. And I also would say, don't wait if you're a buyer because we know the Fed has said that they're supposed to raise interest rates. It just happened a couple of weeks ago. At least two more times this year, interest rates will be climbing. So I know it's a frustrating market. I get it. It's frustrating for us realtors as well and anybody involved in the housing industry. It's frustrating, but stick with it. Persevere. Stay positive because now is still the best time to make your move. So if you have any questions about your specific situation, let me know. Leave me a comment. Shoot me a message. Uh, I'm happy to answer anything I can. And we have all kinds of tools for our buyers and sellers to help you make your move. So we can talk about those. I can talk about your specific situation. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoy warmer weather in the coming days. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody.